Hey guys, what's up? Shane Wolf 38 here, and as you just saw by that little intro, over the past few days I made a 3D graphing calculator in Minecraft. Now, someone did actually make a 3D graphing machine before, and it was very cool. The person who made that is Seth Playing. However, I wouldn't really call his a calculator because you could only choose from five pre programmed equations to graph. With this, you can change up the equation completely and, you know, graph whatever you want. So, let's just show you it in action. So, start graphing just click that little button up over <laughs> click that little button over there to uh, bring up the menu and we have uh, a lot of options here so cx cubed means the coefficient of x cubed and ix cubed means uh, the inside of x cubed so if we just change the coefficient to five you can see in the top left corner and then we can change the coefficient of uh, y cubed to five as well and just go ahead and graph that so it might be a little bit laggy because I'm recording but it shouldn't be too bad and boom there we go uh, I think that looks awesome I really love the X cubed and Y cubed I think they look super cool I love the the curve um, my friend actually said it looks like the Windows symbol which is totally <laughs> totally true it does um, anyway let's just uh, make some transformations to this graph so if we go to the inside of the X cubed function and add point two and we do that with the y cubed as well. We can actually shift it over by two because the grid is, uh, what is it called? The axis is 0 0.1 for each. So anyway, over here you can see the center is right there and it goes like this because we shifted it to this way. And the reason that this is cut off is because it has a barrier at z is equal to 10 to make the whole thing even. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, undo that transformation. So just click the reset button on each one and add something to the X. And let's make this a slope of 6.5 and see how that changes the graph. Should be pretty interesting. So here we go. <laughs> and boom. So now we kind of have a almost like a steep hill that's kind of curving. You can You can barely see the curve. It just goes up and then yeah the <laughs> x cubed and we can do a little bit more we can change it and add a negative y squared so let's just do five and click the negate button and then graph this so let's see what this looks like boom very cool so this is kind of um, like a steep hill you can just kind of go over <laughs> and then go up add one more transformation we're gonna change the y and we're gonna add a Let's see, a 4, let's make that negative as well, and graph that. So, just uh, wait a second. <laughs> and boom, now we have an even steeper curve to the hill. So we go way up and then, yeah, down. Very cool. And we actually have some programmed functions, or pre-programmed functions, that you can graph in here. And also, let me just show you the reset feature. So we can click Reset Graph, and after just a few seconds, the graph and the equation will be completely reset so here we have a hyperbolic paraboloid <laughs> I just love saying that and this is essentially a saddle so when we graph this you can see that we have what is a saddle basically and that's actually just 7x squared minus 7x squared and we can come over here and make a thin paraboloid <laughs> which is just a 3d parabola with a fan <laughs> it has a fancy name so here we go it's kind of a uh, like a dome in a way an upside down dome and a wide paraboloid this is basically the same thing but it's yeah <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it much wider <laughs> there we go so come over here we have a tilted plane and honestly I think this is one of the coolest things even though it's relatively simple it's it's just so cool I don't know why I just love it the way yeah I, I don't know it's just me I guess uh, or maybe not and here's a thin 3D cubic function. I actually just showed you this before, except this one has an even steeper um, incline at the beginning and the end. I'm just going to skip the wide one and go on to the curvy hill and see what that is. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So this, it's a, it almost looks like a saddle, except it kind of stops here and then just starts going up very cool and then the wavy terrain I do not remember what this one is but oh there we go so it's just kind of yeah 
wavy terrain and then just show you if we click on n here that's the number at the end and how we shift the graph so if i do five and then negate that it should move the graph five down so so wait a second and yeah so you can see the graph just moves five down very simple and then we can just reset that so that should take a second and a quick look at the commands of course i don't know why i just said it like that a quick look at the commands so this line calculates the z this uh, displays the equation up there this does the main menu tell raw operations this uh, allows you to change the variables when you punch in numbers and then this just teleports entities to their z value so you get the equation and that's really about it uh there will be a world download to this in the description as well as an edited one where it's all closer together and it resembles Seth Blings more. I'm going to give you guys a quick example of that, so let's go over there. Alright, so here we are over at the other version of the graphing calculator, and as you guys can see, this one resembles Seth Blings a lot more because I really like the design it has and the blocks are much closer together. The effect this has on the graph is when you have an equation with small changes in the Z, the entire thing looks solid. So. Yeah, this just looks awesome, as you guys can see. I mean, the entire thing is connected. It's it's really cool. Uh, but when you have an equation with large changes in the Z, it looks kind of weird. So, yeah, it looks like this. Uh, I'm not sure how much I like this. It's pretty weird. I mean, it's still nice, but yeah, <laughs> very weird. Um, and since the entire thing is condensed, when you have something like a hyperbolic paraboloid, it looks a lot taller and the reason for this is because the x-axis and the y-axis actually change by 0.1 for every single block but the z-axis changes by uh, 1 so yeah it ends up looking kind of weird uh, to reset this you just go over here and click the reset graph button it's the exact same as the other version and that's about it uh, there's really not much more to say in this video or show you guys if you did not see my 2D graphing calculator, which I think I made over a year ago now, I'll put a link to that in the description. One thing I really like about this graphing calculator is I think it's a lot easier to change the equation. I mean, you can just go in here and punch in these numbers, whereas the 2D one, it's <laughs> not as good. I'll just say that. Uh, so yeah. That's about it for the video. There will be a download link in the description to get both of these worlds. They'll both be in one zip file, so they'll just be a single download. But it will include both. And yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.